everyone thank you so much for coming back to another video and as you can tell by the title today i'm going to be teaching studio x parents or students how to do a comp makeup so right off the bat i'm going to be starting to put some vaseline or lip balm or anything on my lips so the time that i put my lipstick on my lips are not all crusty and gross if you have oily skin you might want to put some oil control primer on your face but me I have a really dry skin so I just went ahead and put some moisturizer so when I put my foundation on it looks nice and moisturized and doesn't look crusty. A lot of people like doing foundation first and then moving on to the eyes but I find that that doing the eyes first is better because if there's any fallout from the makeup you can always just wipe it away and then do your foundation and your base. I always like starting off with a primer or a base so the eyeshadow sticks really well to it. So I'm going to go in with the Born This Way Super Coverage Too Faced Concealer and just put that all over my eyelids and blend it out with a beauty blender. <laughs> I know I look a little crazy because my eyes right now are really white, but that's what we want. So the eyeshadow sticks to it really well. So I have the MAC palette. It comes with four colors and the eye is actually super easy. We're going to go ahead and get a eyeshadow brush. I'm using this brush by Quo. Um, it's just a little brush that can get in the crevices of my eyes and make sure everywhere is covered. Okay, so now we're much more up close and personal because I really want you to see where I'm applying the eyeshadow. But here is the palette. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this lighter brown matte shade, not the shimmery shade, the matte shade, and just get some on my brush and then tap it so any fallout comes on. Now you're just going to go apply it in the inner crease like a rainbow almost just above see where you open your eyes and it has that natural crease this is exactly where you want to apply the eyeshadow Time is barely outside. now obviously you're gonna have to keep on patting it in the palette that's obviously what's wanted because you want to make it really dark and really stand out also, if I look off into the front of me, it's because my mirror is over here and I just want to make sure that everything is even and you can already see that the shadow is starting to appear. I've not had dance competitions in a hot minute because of COVID, so this is my first time doing my comp makeup, so hopefully everything goes good. Also, another tip is to really just blend it out because you don't want any harsh lines in your inner eye corner right here and just um, below your brow. You want it to be blended out and not a clear circle or over or whatever you um, were blending it. It kind of lifts up this side of the face. I don't know if you can tell. So I'm going to go ahead and do it on the other side and I'll come back to you. Okay, so I just have applied the brown to both eyes. Now we're going to go ahead and take the lighter brown shimmier color, not the matte one. We just used the matte one. We're going to go ahead and take the shimmy, shimmery one and we're going to pat some on our brush like this. As so and now we're just gonna apply it on the eyelid but just half of the eyelid so as you can see just right there and you're gonna kind of want to like brush it out a little so it blends I don't know if you can see the difference but here is sparkly and here is not I would suggest not going all the way around the eyelid again you can but we're just going to be putting dark brown there anyways, so there's no need to. I want to really make sure that this is really sparkly and really stunning. So then it pops out. So I just went ahead and applied the sparkly onto the other eye. And of course, you can go back in and as, as much as you think that you need and what looks right. It all depends on who you're putting the makeup on or if you're putting on yourself or your daughter um, or anything like that. So now I'm going to go in with the darkest 
brown shade. It is a matte shade. And you're just going to dab your brush again and then tap it so any fallout comes out. Now, the corner of your eye right here, you're going to kind of just tap it like this and tap it up where your brow is and kind of create a line like so. It might look like a wing, it might look like a line, it might just look like a splatter, <laughs> but as long as it's there. And then you're gonna kind of wanna blend in the other half of the eyelid that we did not put the sparkly. Blend it out into the other colors. And you should kind of be creating like a wing almost. And then once you do that, you're going to want to blend it into the other colors so it's not so dramatic and clear that it is a straight line. And of course, if you mess up on the wing or it does not look right, you can go literally out here anywhere because um, when we go in with the foundation, we're just going to fix it up anyways. As you can see, I just went ahead and blended out the dark one, and I'm going to go ahead and do it on the other side the exact same. So I just finished doing the two dark kind of wing areas, and now we're going to go on with the last color, this highlight color. It's a sparkly one. And we're going to go ahead and put our brush in there, and we're just going to highlight on the brow bone right here. Really super simple. Just on the brow bone, so as you can see, there's some highlight there. We're gonna do the same on the other side. You're on stage and the lights are on you. You have some highlight on your face. Now this is totally optional, but I like to actually add some highlight into my inner corner eye. So there's some shininess and fun happening there. I'm going to go ahead and start off with my foundation. The foundation that I use is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. So I've just applied some onto my hand. Now I'm going to take my beauty blender and dab it. And I'll just go all over my face with it. applied my foundation and I'm gonna go ahead with my concealer the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer I absolutely love this stuff because it defines and brightens your face while also hiding um, any pigmentation or scarring or anything like that <laughs> concealer this is where you want to start shaping where you would like your eyeshadow to end and where to start so I just went ahead and made a little kind of line and then in the end you can always kind of blend it out after we have put um, the setting powder on concealer is on and we're looking gorgeous but what I like to do is whatever uh, concealer foundation left on my brush I always like to pat down on my neck and ears so there is no <laughs> sorry I'm like tapping my neck while I'm talking so there is no lines I'm gonna go in with some setting powder so our makeup doesn't look as dewy and as wet I like the cover girl um, setting powder it is super nice and uh, I don't want to say it, but it's like hydrating even though it is a powder. So I just like going and putting this underneath my eyes and kind of where my blush would go on the other side. And then on my nose and in my T-zone right here, it's basically where any, wherever you get oily or where you would get oily if you're dancing all day on a stage. So now that that is done, I'm going to go ahead and put some bronzer on. The Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder. It looks like this. It's pretty big. And I just like going in and I like putting it right here in my hairline and then down here as well to kind of warm up my cheeks so um, you don't look as pale maybe if you have um, not the same skin tone so up on my forehead just around my forehead like a big 
kind of rainbow or arc just matching your hairline and make sure you do put it in your hair and in your hairline because you don't want a complete line when you pull back your hair in a pony or a bun or in braids you don't want to see that defined line <laughs> in with a blush I use this Mac blush it is super bright and you want to make sure that your blush on stage is bright I'm just gonna go ahead and tap your brush in as you can see it's pink give it a little tap and you want to put it up like so and not so much out because doing this will lift up your face and when you smile on stage it'll actually give you a bigger smile effect rather than doing it out. And also, if you would like to do the trick, you can always smile and then do the blush from your cheekbones and up. To brows, if you are younger or if you feel like you don't need to do your brows, I would suggest a brow gel. Obviously, you do not have to use this at all. Personally, I just like using it because it keeps my brows in place. So I just like to brush up my brows like so. So all the hairs are facing up and then kind of brush them down. Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. It looks exactly like a mascara. And then all you do is just brush it in your eyebrows like you would do with a spoolie. And it keeps them in locked apparently for 24 hours. And I do have to say, it does keep my eyebrows unlocked and I do go to dance myself and at the studio. So for caught makeup, we normally put on fake eyelashes and we have a certain brand, but I don't have that one right now. So I'm just going to be using Morphe eyelashes. These ones are really dramatic, so I'm sorry if they are really hard to see how I'm putting them on. But I know that you can buy tweezers and things like that to help put on fake eyelashes. And personally, for me, I feel like just using my hands is perfect. Before putting on eyelashes, I like to check and measure if the eyelash that I'm about to put on is going to fit my eye. And normally, because I have kind of on the smaller eyes, they are too big. So I kind of just measure it and then cut it. The glue that I'm going to be using is the Duo Brush on Adhesive with Vitamins um, Eyelash Glue. A lot of people use this, but in clear. Personally, I'm going to be using the black, so it kind of looks like eyeliner. So when I put it on and put it on my face, when I put the eyeliner on, it kind of just blends together. I'll go ahead and apply some glue onto the eyelash. And what a lot of people mistake when they do the eyelashes is they just go ahead and put it on. You actually have to blow on it and leave it for a couple of seconds so then the glue can get tacky and sticky. And then when you stick it on your eye, it's like, boom, it's stuck. It's good. When you see the eyelash, the smaller lashes, I don't know if you can see, but the shorter lashes should be in where the corner of your eye is. And then the longer lashes are going to be obviously at the other end of your eye. So the eyelash glue is now kind of tacky and sticky. Now when you do this, you want to really be careful because if you get it stuck on your eye lid then you're gonna have to rip it off and then redo your eyes so you really want to be careful but a trick that i have is i like to kind of pull down my eye with the other hand and then this one i kind of level it out and then i kind of stick it in the middle and then go along with my eye all around And stick it like so so as you can see it goes along with my eyelid and it's not all the way up <laughs> where my eyebrow is exact same thing to the other one and make sure it fits it is now sticky and adhesive so now I'm just gonna go ahead and pull down like this my eye and stick it in the middle and kind of go along try to close your eyes when doing it because when you open your eyes you might notice that you've actually 
glued your eyelashes shut. Move on into the eyeliner. For the eyeliner that I used is the Matte Style Essence Super Last eyeliner and this is in matte black so what I like to do is I like to start off in the middle and then work my way in and then out into the wing so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this right in the middle so I'm just gonna move my mirror over so I can do look at you and the mirror at the same time I'm gonna apply this in the middle Now you can go in and touch up if any of the lines are not even or anything like that. And then once you have your line, you can make the wing. I like making the wing from the corner of my eye out to the end of my brow. Like so. And I'm going to connect the end of the eyeliner to where I just finished putting the other eyeliner. Like so and I'm just gonna go ahead and fill it in and then also I'm gonna make this more pointy our eye looks snatched so I just want to go ahead and play on the other eye and I'm a righty so I have to kind of go like this so I'm gonna try my best to show you <laughs> now and it looks so good but last but not least the lipstick traditional comp lipstick is ruby woo and you should get a liner and a lipstick with it so i'm just gonna go ahead and put on the liner what i like doing is literally just following the outer edge of my lip Echoing around these walls fighting to create liner on and now i'm gonna go ahead with the lipstick now oh jesus mine is running out but i'm gonna go ahead and now apply it onto my lips bam look at those big red lips well ladies and gentlemen this is the final look of the comp makeup i hope you enjoyed my video thank you so much for watching and i hope it was helpful comment down below if it was helpful for you a like and subscribe and comment and i'll see you in my next video